Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So to the joy of every CMU Breath of the Wild player, I have finally completed my 100% complete Breath of the Wild share cache for update version 1.3.3 v144 and DLC 2.1 v64. The final shader count for me came in at just under 9,200 shaders with every conceivable physics interaction, item combination and or NPC interaction. This shader cache also takes into account those players that may want to play on master mode or play the Trials of the Sword. Both of these pieces of DLC content have been fully played, finished and all shaders acquired for this shader cache. Let's move to my desktop. This file that you see here is exactly what you're going to be downloading from the description. You simply need to extract this, I'm going to extract it to my desktop. This file that we see up here is our shader cache bin file. You want to open your CMU 1.11.1, come to shader cache, transferable, and drag and drop this file right here. This is your Breath of the Wild complete shader cache. I'm just quickly going to show you what it should look like when you load your shader cache and what you should do if the shader cache does not load for you. When you come to file, load and load your game, this is what should come up, the shader cache of 9135. If it does not happen, you need to come to your log.txt and as you can see here, this is your shader cache name. This is the name that you will need to rename your shader cache to in order to make it run perfectly with your game. All you need to do is copy this text here, right click and click rename on your shader.bin and paste this text in here. This is all you will need to do if you want to get this shader cache to run with your selected region of game. Now before we go and run the game and see our shader cache in action, I want to show you guys some settings that can help you reduce your RAM usage when using Breath of the Wild. These three files you see here are our game profiles. This select one here is my game profile for Breath of the Wild. This line here is a line you want to add if you want to have significantly less RAM usage in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on CMU Emulator. I will have this in the description below in a copy and pasteable format, but you want to have it looking exactly like you see here, come to file, click save and that's it done. I would like to make note that when you make this change to your game profile you will have to fully recompile your shader so if you do so just be aware that it will take quite a large amount of time. If you wish to know which game profile you need to edit you can see it right here similarly to how we saw the shader cache name previously. Ok now that we have all of that done let's load into CMU and see exactly how much RAM we are using. I'm just going to load my Breath of the Wild and while it is loading, put them in a separate window and I'm going to open up Task Manager and take a look at our RAM performance. As you can see down here, in this committed area, this is the number we need to keep our eye on. This is the slow version of shader compilation, so I'm going to speed this footage up so we can see exactly how much RAM we are using once this has fully compiled. And there we go. As we can see down below here, our committed memory is 11.2 GB. This means that our system at this very moment is using 11.2 of my 16 GB of available memory. I'm just quickly going to show you how you can change your virtual memory if you do not have enough RAM to actually compile a full Breath of the Wild shader cache. On your desktop, hit Windows key and R, and in this box here, you need to paste this. SYSDM.CPL space comma 3. Click OK and it will bring you to this tab. Under Performance, you want to click Settings. Come across to Advanced and you will see here that this is where you access your virtual memory. Click Change and it will bring you to this window. You want to untick this Automatically Manage Paging File Sizes for All Drives and select your OS drive, this System Managed Drive. Under Custom Size, you want to enter whatever amount of virtual memory space that will bring you to 16GB. For example, if you have 8GB of RAM in your system, you want to enter into this box 8000. Set 8000 as both of these numbers, hit Set, and click OK. You should be given a warning telling you that you need to restart your system. You should do this as this page file change will not take place until the next startup of your system. What this virtual memory basically does is it acts as an overflow for your actual RAM. 
This means that if you have only just barely or slightly under the recommended amount of RAM, which at the minute is 8GB on any Nvidia or AMD system, you will be able to actually compile a full shader cache and play the game with minimal stutter. So there we have it, a full shader cache for use with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 1.3.3 and DLC 2.1. Hopefully some of the steps that I have covered in this video will help all of you guys or at least some of you with your performance issues with Breath of the Wild on CMU Emulator. I do apologize that it took me so long to get this cache to you guys but I wanted to make sure that it was perfectly working in all major and minor areas in CMU 1.11.1 since it was only released a day ago. And to make matters 100,000 times worse, I am absolutely atrociously dying with man flu at the minute, which didn't help my productivity and the production of this video in the slightest. Regardless of all of that, cheers for checking out the video guys, I hope you found it useful. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.